How's it going everyone? This is Chris from Chris Spooner Motoring, formerly Chris Spooner Gaming. Just in case you'd forgot because it's been a while since I uploaded a video on this channel again. And this is my new Ford Mustang GT. Everyone, this is my new car, a 2015 Mustang GT. Now this may or may not come as a surprise because I did drop some hints about wanting one of these in the couple of videos I uploaded since rebranding this channel to Chris Spooner Motoring, although it has happened a lot sooner than I originally expected. My original plans for this channel were to post videos about my uh, motorbike and test drive cars that I'd try and borrow or rent until I finally had my own sports car to make videos about. The whole idea of renting cars never really worked out, then winter set in so I haven't been out on my bike since, which is why my channel has been neglected again recently. But all that is about to change, now I have this beast to make content about. From now on you can expect to see update videos about all the mods I have planned, which I'll explain more about in a future video, plus fun drives that go on as I explore the Peak District in summer. So let me tell you about my little story of how I managed to get myself a Mustang. Ever since the S550 Mustang was made available in right hand drive for the UK I've really fancied one. I began saving my pocket money but it would have taken me years until I could have afforded to buy one. Then a few months ago I put all the Mustang savings I'd set aside into Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Then fast forward to 2018 and I could suddenly afford to buy one outright. My first choice was actually the Deep Impact blue colour but I went to view one which had really low miles but in the flesh I wasn't too keen on the colour. It looks more like a bluey purple, now this is probably because it was a dull overcast wintry day, but to be honest that's going to be the light it's seen in for the majority of the year in the UK, so I broadened my search to include other colours, including race red. This model I bought is equipped with the custom pack, which sounds cool, but I would have actually preferred one without it. Why wouldn't you want the custom pack? Well because the custom pack gives you all the options, which is good, but it also changes the black window trim to chrome and changes the black alloys to this nickel finish. In an ideal world I would have found a car that was previously owned by someone with the same mindset as me who would have specced those options individually without adding them all in one as part of the custom pack to keep all those black bits. But the chrome trim isn't too hard to change either by wrapping or plastic dipping plus I'll be getting some sweet aftermarket wheels as part of my mods list anyway. All GT models in the UK are the equivalent of the GTs in the US, they are equipped with the performance pack, so we get those beefy Brembos and the spoiler delete by default, and I think the gearing is slightly different to the premium variants. There are some cool features that are present on the US version that are missing on the UK, Oz and Euro models though, so half the things on my mods list are to fix what Ford should have included as standard. So what are my impressions so far? <laughs> this thing feels huge. Its dimensions are actually pretty much the same as my Hyundai Santa Fe, but this really does feel a lot bigger, probably because you sat a lot lower and the visibility isn't as good. It's also pretty scary driving this thing in the wet. I got a little bit sideways even on the test drive accidentally on purpose by squeezing the throttle a little bit too much while accelerating out of a roundabout. These Pirellis are said to be a bit rubbish in the wet, which is why I can find myself spinning up in third gear if I try to boot it, so for the time being I think I'll keep it in snow mode. It's said that on normal mode the traction control gives you a bit of leeway before cutting in, but the combination of the Pirelli tyres and wet roads means the traction control in normal mode often leaves it too late to intervene, so if the driver doesn't catch it, it's game over. Snow mode on the other hand cuts in straight away, so that's what a lot of people on the uh, owners club recommend just in case your right foot gets a little bit too eager in the rain. I've been trying to find a large, flat, smooth, secluded tarmac surface somewhere on Google Maps, purely for important scientific research purposes, 
just to get a feel for the car's handling characteristics. I may or may not film some clips of that just in case I end up incriminating myself. But uh, let me know what you think to my new toy. Stay tuned for loads of videos as I document the many mods I have planned. I've already got a shopping list I'm about to uh, click the checkout button on. So I'll have uh, some nice parcels arriving soon. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.